Hello, peoples. Grow tall, peoples. Peoples growing. I have a poem, and I'd like to share it with you. This poem is about bones. By the way, many of you have shared my videos, and thank you, like, seriously, thank you. Um, actually, would like to go to each of you who have shared my videos and say thank you, like send you a message and say thank you for sharing my video. Um, and actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm making a whole bunch of videos right now. It's my attempt to get a lot of things in order. And uh, some of you have asked questions. And uh, the video run that I'm going on right now is to answer a whole bunch of questions. So uh, if you asked a question a long time ago, and you haven't gotten an answer, um, perhaps you will see an answer over the course of the next two weeks. Okay? In this video, we're going to talk about bones. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, make that clear. On Friday, on Friday, which is uh, tomorrow, quote, end quote. Um, that'll be the last day of, of actually me making videos this week. So hopefully uh, between now and the end of the day, Friday, I'll get a bunch of videos out. And actually you won't hear from me for a few days after that until uh, next, uh, probably next Friday. And uh, hopefully at that time I can start getting more videos out. So, um, yeah. That's that. Let's talk about bones. I'm going to start with my poem that I wrote about bones. Here it is. Let's make something very, very clear. Though after puberty, growth plates disappear, at least to the naked eye. Yet still, bones are alive. Yes, bones are alive. Just wanted to make this video to share with you the fact that bones are alive. They're not dead. They're not dead. And so a lot of times when we look at bones, we look at these structures and we don't realize that they are in fact alive. But some may say, and it's understandable. It's understandable. It's okay. You know, I, I have no problem with people having misconceptions. I try not to have a problem with it. I ain't got a problem with nobody having a misconception. It's, you know, you know, it's other things that, you know, I try to be cool about everything, you know. But I can understand that even though bones are alive, some may still have a hang-up. They may say, bones are hard. How can they grow after the growth plates have fused? How can they grow? There are no growth plates. Bones are hard. How can you make them grow? Making bones grow by stretching. There's a lot of other hang-ups people have about bones. We're going to talk about those as well. But right now, if you're doing your stretches, or if you're thinking about stretches, if you're thinking about doing stretches, if you're thinking about doing a grow tall routine, hanging, micro fractures, Whatever you're thinking about doing. For your motivation and for your inspiration, please remember that bones are alive and living things can change. In general, I don't know about every single living thing. I don't. I don't. But this is what I do know in general. Living things grow 
I hear, I hear the voices. Not indefinitely, sir. Not indefinitely. Okay. Okay. We're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on that. There's more than one type of growth, you know. We won't touch on it right now. Okay? But we do understand living things have the capability to grow. Living things breathe. They eat. They need nourishment. They, as far as I know, they expel stuff. And they reproduce. They have children like themselves, like themselves. And as with anything living within the body, they are embedded with nerves. Why would that be significant? Why in the world is that significant? I'll tell you why it's significant. Nerves are to the body as communication lines, as telephone lines. Or, you know, they're the lines of communication. Okay, there's a, I know there's a better word for this, but please flow with me here. Bones being embedded with nerves mean that they communicate to the brain. They tell the brain stuff. They tell the brain stuff like, um, excuse me, brain, could you do this for me? Could, could, please, could you do this for me? And the brain says, I can do that. I can do that. If it's functioning well, the brain can say that. If the nerves are functioning well, the brain can say that. If the bones are functioning well enough, they can communicate that to the brain. Brain, could you, could you help me with something, please? A need has come up. There's been a need. There seems to be a need. Can you please help me with this? Is it okay if you help me with this need? And the brain says, you know, the brain looks at the rest of the body and see if the rest of the body gives any indication of congruency with that need. They, it may do that. And, you know, as the brain looks at the, looks at the muscles, oh, wait a minute. Hmm, I'm noticing changes in the muscle a little bit. I'm noticing changes here. I, I notice this is happening, and this is happening, and this is happening, and you're asking for this. I, I think you can be accommodated, Mr. Bone. I think you can be accommodated. Okay? There's a line of communication going on. Not only that, not only that, there's a delivery system. We call them blood vessels. Too much information! Too much information in this video! We must go to the next one!